Welcome at the SEAT booth here at the IIA in Frankfurt. They present here the new SEAT Terraco bot with the trim style FR and a plug-in hybrid on board. On top, we do find a very nice and luxurious concept car from Cupra and they say they have something which they call micromobility as well. I found something very interesting at the Cupra stand here at the IAA, which is a Cupra Arteca Special Edition. So let's have a closer look. When you look at that car, this color here, graphite gray, is only for this Special Edition. But I think more interesting are these new rims, because they are not 19 inch, they 20 inch. And then when you look here, carbon fiber rear view mirrors. And that's this real carbon fiber. And you find the same at the interior, like for instance at the air outtakes of your air conditioner. When you go a bit more further down, when we come to the back side of the car, you see that, an extended spoiler here, real carbon fiber, and then look here, it's a very special Cupra in copper. I really like that, but I think one of the most interesting things at the rear of the car is down here. This is an exhaust system from a Krapovich, which means that car does even make more noise than the standard Cupra Arteca does. Being on the Seat stand, you expect to see loads of cars, but you also find things like that, electric scooters. And the reason for that is Seat is working a lot into a thing that they call micromobility. And what this is all about, let's talk to an expert. Yeah, so the, uh, the Mi Electric is our smallest car in our portfolio, but it's not the smallest vehicle in our portfolio, as you know. Almost one year ago, we presented and we launched the kick scooter, the electric kick scooter. Then in February this year, we presented the micro car electric as well, the Seat Minimo. So we are enlarging our portfolio from normal and traditional cars to micro mobility solutions. So micro mobility is becoming a key success factor also for automotive industry. So because uh, cars are more and more expensive, especially if they are electric, and then young people cannot afford to have expensive cars. So, and also driving in the city is becoming more and more difficult, especially because the lacking of parking space. So also the smallest cars will be more successful in the future. And so, and the combination of these two things makes that we decided as SEAT to offer micro mobility solutions because then young people can afford them and also they are easy to park. Cupra presents a new fully electric concept car called Tavas Khan. And what that car can deliver and why it looks the way it looks, let's talk to the head of design. Yes, thank you very much. We brought the Cupra Tavas Khan uh, here to Frankfurt today, which is our first uh, full EV car for Cupra. And uh, it shows somehow the direction that we are going to follow in the future with our design but uh, with our products in general. So very emotional, uh, very technological, and uh, in fact, uh, cars with a lot of character. The first uh, idea that I had when uh, creating the Tabascan was to really look at what the car was able to deliver in terms of technology, in terms of performance, uh, with the 225 kilowatts, a car that is actually fun to drive, agile. So what I wanted to do is to translate that technological aspect into the design so the customers, the people can, by looking at the car, can imagine the potential that this car has. So it's, uh, it's very important for us, for, for Cupra, that the design looks, uh, I don't know if a sport is the right word, but uh, that is full of character, of purpose, uh, that shows uh, technology, not maybe through hard technology and cold technology, but something, as you can see, with the design language that is very human, very soft, very smooth. Well, I, as a general thing, uh, looking high from the helicopter, the first the, or the best thing or the, the most satisfying thing for me is the coherence of the proportions and the sportiveness and the elegance of the car. But uh, it's, it's full of uh, details I will mention, but uh, maybe one I would like to focus, it's the uh, dairy intakes that we have in the hood. So the air just goes through the front, uh, crosses the hood, and goes over the hood. 
this is, um, you can say it's a detail, but it's the perfect excuse to create a beautiful shape that uh, works from the aerodynamic point of view. So it's function and design together in a, what we believe, I hope, a beautiful shape. Looking at the Tavas car is a real pleasure. When you look at the, let's say, side of the car, look at these big rims, and then you find these wheel arches, carbon fiber on top of them. And then look at the front. We have very sharp hat lamps, a very sharky nose, the big Cupra uh, illuminated logo at the front. And the whole front looks like one air intake. When you look at the interior of the car, you find loads of glamour, loads of light, very nice. And then looking at the rear of it, it's the same as the front, completely, yeah, a bit too much of everything, but so beautiful. Wonderful air outtakes, very nicely shaped and very sharp um, taillights. So the whole car looks like a sculpture. I absolutely love it. So, uh, as mentioned this morning in our press conference already by Luca, uh, the intention is, of course, to do something which is quite close to the later series production. Uh, even if we don't have a, a formula. Uh, the decision on this project right now, we are working on the feasibility. That means uh, we are always comparing how far is the show car going and what can we really realize at the end of the day and we are very, very close. I think this is very important for us that we do not promise anything or something which we cannot later really uh, give to the customer. Yeah, of course, I think uh, like Cooper always, it has to be a sporty touch and uh, as Cooper is coming from cup racing, I think this is part of the DNA of Cooper on the one hand side. On the other hand side, if you look at the pure technical figures, uh, based on the MEB platform, uh, we are uh, at the moment have 306 horsepower, we have uh, a quite good acceleration, we have 450 km range. I think these are all figures which really underlines that electrification also can be sporty. Okay, real Seat, of course, I think it's the design again. So Seat is really coming always via the design and we have the new FR styling, which is always uh, the sporty styling at Seat and we did a lot of this. Um, but I think the really heart of this car is the PHEV uh, drivetrain. It provides 245 horsepower. Uh, I drove this car just a few days ago and uh, again came to the conclusion uh, that it's very powerful, also with nice acceleration. We have 85 kilowatts out of the 245 horsepower, pure electric. Uh, I think this is very good for the, for the agility of the car. We have a pure electric range of more than 50 kilometers. And in total, and this is also in the center of our uh, efforts, the CO2 emissions are less than 50 grams per kilometer on WLTP. That's it from the SEAT booth here from the IIA 2019 in Frankfurt. And I really was yeah, positively surprised about the special edition of the Cupra Arteca, but I also do like the new SEAT Terraco FR with a plug-in hybrid on board. But to be honest, my favorite here is for sure the new Tavascan, the Cupra concept car. And I think this is one of the highlights of this show.